here's a workflow I built out for local business prospecting that I wanted to show you and share a template with you. So you'll be able to grab that below the video. Um, but basically this is really simple. So this is just for pest control, but it could be for any business, uh, local business. And basically what we're doing is we're using clay to pull in the uh, local business information. So obviously company name, Google Maps, all that stuff. I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. Um, and then what we're going to do, so these are the first steps. So first things first, we normalize the domain um, just because we use Prospio a little bit later on. But what we're actually doing in this whole flow is finding the email address, the owner's name, uh, personalized PS line, and first line as well. Um, and it's all completely automatic. You can see that it's running right now. I'm not doing anything. I'm recording this video, and it's just updating with the number of, uh, so this is the filter is for final valid emails. So it's just updating automatically and just running in the background. Um, and it's really, really cool because I'm not having to do anything. I built it work, workflow one time. All you have to do is add businesses and it just runs. And it will spit out valid emails, uh, the lines, everything that you need all in one without you having to really do any extra work. Uh, so this is how we do it. So first things first is we scrape their website um, and we pull like their Facebook URL, description, all that kind of stuff. We don't actually end up using it. I tried to uh, pull information from Facebook, um, just kind of like, you know, to find their email address and things like that, but it just wasn't working for whatever reason with Clay, Clay, uh, Clayjent. So uh, I ended up setting up a, another way of doing it. So what we do is we pull the website uh, email address um, or the email address from the website. However, sometimes it's not fully accurate. So you can see here that it's like really weird, like five, four, you know, number and this, sometimes it doesn't quite work or like this, for example, um, just doesn't quite work. So what I've done is I've formatted the email um, using AI, it basically just says to only output uh, a valid email essentially or to clean it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Now, if it doesn't work, then what we're using, or if it doesn't find the email address here, we have uh, Clayjent basically trying to find the website emails or emails on the website. Um, so it's essentially going onto the website URL, we feed it that, and then it is spitting out the uh, emails. Now, it's only running if no email has been found from this first step, right? So we're doing a little waterfall here. Now, the next step here is if no emails have been found from here and here, so Clayjent scraping the website and um, pulling the data from Zenrose or scraping their website, um, then we try and find it with Prospero. So all we need for this is their domain, uh, and then it will try and find any emails within their domain. Then next that we do is uh, we merge the two columns or merge all of the email columns into here, push it into Enrichly. So the reason I use Enrichly is because it validates catch-all emails as well. Um, now with a lot of uh, local businesses, you wanna try and get just as much coverage of emails as possible. It's very unlikely that you get a personal email. Um, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So here we've got like, you know, John, and but sometimes it's info app. So we'll take what we can get with local businesses. Then next, uh, it will spit out obviously just the final valid emails. So these have been verified by Enrichly um, and it verifies the catch-alls as well. So that's why I use it. Next, what I do is I try and find the company founders. Um, so it will tell, I'll tell Clayjent to scrape the website for the name of the founders on the website. And then I'll tell it and then I get AI. So sometimes it doesn't find them, sometimes it finds multiple, but obviously we don't want to reach out to multiple. So what we want to do is we want to reach out to just one of them. Um, so I've got AI basically scraping through those and then just pulling the first name of one of these people, right? Um, normalizing that name and then we spit out just the first name, right, for some of these people. Then what we're doing is in the email copy, we are using the location as well. So what I do is I put out, uh, I use AI to normalize the copy essentially. Um, I'm not sure why it's using US places here. It shouldn't be, it should be Australia, but I'll have to fix that. Um, but you get the point. Essentially, it's going through and it's finding and it's validating or sorry, it's uh, normalizing the name of the location, right? And this is from the address which we have uh, from the initial pull in, which is here, right? So it's like, you know, weird and everything. And then we pull in the uh, the address here. Um, cool. So once we've done that, then the next thing that we do is get the first line. So uh, this is just the first line that I'm using, but this is just based on their um, rating, right? So we can see here, nice one on the 4.5 star rating on Google, and we just use the rating that they've got over here. So nothing major, nothing special there, but it's just a little bit extra in the first line. Then we have another uh, bit of AI, which is basically trying to find any local businesses or famous local businesses around their area. So it'll basically take their initial address location and then push that information using AI to decipher what uh, what, um, 
basically what kind of restaurants do they have around that specific address and then it'll push out and normalize that and then we use that as a ps line and then at the end of it we have smart lead here uh, and it pushes the leads automatically into smart lead so you just have to click and run so that is pretty much a step-by-step -step workflow that will allow you to add in local businesses so we can trust test it out here so we can go sydney sydney uh australia sydney australia new south wales we'll open this up a little bit and then bam and we'll push this out and then we can go on search type and we can go free text and then what we will do here is we will put in pest control and then we will go submit and then it is creating the source and you can see here total leads is 257 but 96 is basically with this filter so all of the emails that are actually valid so it's basically doing that automatically and you'll see that it starts to add and push and find more businesses and then it automatically runs into this workflow like i said you can have the template below for free just literally spit put in your businesses and it will run and uh yeah, it'll spit out the whole final thing where you've got the email address of the local business, the name of the owner for some of them, first line and last line um, as well. So I hope that's been useful. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And if you're interested in us doing this for you, we can do this and build these automated workflows out. Just click the link below and schedule the call. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.